point. According to Islam, a one-day-old baby, regardless of which faith you're born, regardless of whether you're born to an atheist yeah. parent, you're born to a Muslim parent, exactly. you're born to a Christian, That's Hindu, Buddhist. Buddhist, doesn't matter what. The one-day-old baby, or even up to the up to the uh, up to the point they reach the age of understanding, exactly. which normally is the age of puberty. Yes. yes, they are not held accountable for anyone's sin, regardless of what their parents believe in. Yeah, that a child, a baby child, he's a Muslim, he's born of a Muslim family. Is he going to go to hell or to heaven? And the question just came in. It says, what happens to a baby that dies and where does it go? This is a beautiful teaching in Islam that all children, regardless of the religion of their parents, all children go to paradise. So where he will go now? He's a child, he's a son of a Muslim man. You're he, saying that he died as, a, as an infant? Yes. If he died as if he died as an infant, yeah, he's going to heaven. So uh, there is no way anyone will believe in such a thing because that would be stupid, right? You if are, born, if you a newborn says, baby dies, yeah. where does it go? It goes to heaven. Who told you? The that? newborn baby goes to is, heaven. Is that hasn't according to Islam? Is, is that according to Islam or according to you? That's that's a common knowledge. That's that's common sense. So you are saying to me the common sense. So anyone who speaks something else, he will be stupid. Though it's common amongst Muslims, we all generally understand that if a baby dies the baby is going to paradise but this is not true it's not true uh, this is a speaker corner his name is Hashim Abdul he says arguing original sin says there are no original sin in Islam and babies go to heaven okay let us see if this is true just to show you why Muslims they love Islam because they, you know they are stupid they don't know what Islam is about the second you say in Islam there is no heaven and, and there is no sin for babies and there is no original sin, that means you are stupid. Let me show you original sin from your prophet. Sahih Muslim, Sahih al-Bukhari, you name it. This is all a Sahih Hadith, as you see. Now, and I will show you that even how Muhammad, he believed that the real God of Islam is the devil. Uh, Muhammad, he said, not me, but for the Israeli, uh, but for the Israeli, which means if there is no Jews, Meat would not decay, and but for Eve, wives would never betray their husbands. So your prophet saying it clearly that the reason a woman she betray her husband is she inherited that from Eve. Did Adam pass on his sin to his children or not? My point is this: Why does the Christian belief or the doctrine of the original sin is unjust? According to what I see, hmm? that the children are inheriting the sin of their parents. Why a woman today she betray her husband? Because according to your prophet, Eve did that. If not Eve, women today they would not do it. So you must not believe in the original sin. And that is showing us the, the, the ignorance and the stupidity of Islam. Muslim, they have big mouth, they keep repeating things they do not understand. When their books proving them wrong, proving that Islam is a stupid cult. And how you say to me, you don't believe in religious sin, and, but your prophet, he says this. And as you see, this is Sahih. What you will say to me, this is not Sahih. Call me and say, this is not Sahih. I will, I will spank you, literally. So the blame of sin goes back to Eve. Is that original sin or this is something else? By the way, we don't believe in that. We believe that Adam and Eve, both they commit sin, not only Eve. But obviously, Muhammad, he always blamed the women for all sin. This is why Muhammad, he says that women, and this is how he see his mother, and his wives and his daughters if they have any that Muhammad he claimed that women they come and they advance in the shape of shaitan he said the women she come in the image of shaitan and she retreat in the image of shaitan so women in Islam is a pure shaitan and this is why we see that Muhammad, he claimed that original sin goes back all the way to Eve, but not to Adam. Yeah. Are you telling me that Adam has no role to play in that? Now, Muhammad as an idiot, he don't hesitate to contradict himself. How a second ago you just said to us, if no Eve, no woman betray her husband, and then you say to us that there was a debate between Adam and Moses. And Moses accused Adam that because of you, we... We are out of heaven, which means Moses believe in original sin. Read carefully with me. And by the way, the funny here that this debate happened 
after both they die which means Musa he die and yet he is not a Muslim as the Muslim claim because as we heard the Muslim they keep saying we Muslim don't believe in original sin now this is a prophet of God the Muslim they claim that he is a Muslim his name is Musa how Musa he asked Adam such a question if you don't believe in the original sin read carefully with me and love Adam and Musa they argue together okay what is the argument Musa says to Adam oh Adam you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise so obviously Musa he believe in the same belief of Christianity original sin Musa he spent his life as a prophet and look like his God and the Muslim they claim that the God of Musa is the same God of, of, of the Jews but look here Musa he die and yet his God Allah he never told him that you are wrong how stupid is that if a prophet of God himself do not know what if original sin is right or wrong who is going to know are we listening guys are we listening here Muhammad he proved to us that Musa cannot be a prophet and Musa cannot be a Muslim because if he is a Muslim prophet then he should be in total agreement with Muhammad believe which Muhammad himself he contradict himself because we showed you where Muhammad he says if no Eve no woman will betray her husband so Muhammad in, in one hand he deny original sin and one hand he approve it in one hand he says Musa is a prophet of Allah in one hand he says no Musa he's an idiot he do not know even what original sin is and this is why we say Islam is a very stupid cult and one of the signs of a stupid cult it cannot stand its its own words this is why the Quran says if this book is not from Allah you will find a lot of contradiction Adam he said to Musa are you are you do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation and here again we see the stupidity of Muhammad why we just showed you Muhammad claim that Eve she betray her husband right but here he says nobody betray anyone it was written by Allah 40 years before the creation of Adam that Allah he made a plan for him as a fate that he will commit sin are we listening guys do you see how stupid that is how this man can be a prophet of God you have to be certified donkey you get your certification from a Christian prince with the stamp of his horse donkey if Allah is the one who wrote the fate of Adam and his sin and you cannot blame him for his sin so why you are blaming Eve for betraying her husband if this is was well, something written by Allah by the fate of Allah for Adam and Eve anyway this is why in China they say he lived as a donkey he never came back as a horse a Muslim he says that a child he will not go to hell he go to heaven Islam well this is logical actually that a child should go to heaven I agree that's why Jesus said if we could not be the same as those little ones we will not enter the kingdom of, 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 of God but not in Islam my friend your prophet he got himself busted and he got you busted again you're a prophet that he claimed that it is all about fate have nothing to do with sin a child he died and he uh, Aisha and Muhammad they want to the funeral of a child and this is a Sahih Hadith as you see chapter of meaning of every child is born in the state of Fitra you know what is it Muhammad he said that every child is born as a Muslim okay and the Muslims agree no problem so every child is born as a Muslim that means this child is a Muslim for sure because even a Christian child according to Muhammad he is born as a Muslim and then his family make him a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu or etc but look what happened here this is a child from a Muslim family which means he is born a Muslim by birth as Muhammad he claimed everyone is everybody is born as a Muslim and his family are Muslims but he is an infant he's a little child when Aisha radiallahu anha had mentioned regarding one of the children of the Ansar who had died that to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam she mentioned oh he is among the children of paradise Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said no what Muhammad here is saying 
Allah created for paradise people who they are not yet are created which means decision is already made it's a fate it's not about sin Aisha she think that this is a child he will be birth of the birds of paradise because he never reached the age of sin read carefully she said there is a happiness in the, uh, for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise for it commit no sin nor has reached the age when one can commit a sin so this is very clear now he never commits sin he cannot even be a sinner he is a very baby he said aisha per adventure it may be the otherwise which means it might be he go to hell not to heaven it might be the otherwise the opposite because god created for paradise those who are fit for it while they were in their father backbone not lions this is a translation by the way is false and he created for hell those who are to go to hell he created them for hell while they were in their father backbone so muhammad claimed that you are your this the decision about you where to go what you will be is made before he created you it doesn't matter you commit sin or not as you see the baby here never commits sin. so why why is it possible he will go to hell what is this what is the reason of possibility that you will go to hell because Islam is not about you go to hell because you commit sin it's about fate Islam is a stupid religion but a stupid cult full of contradiction and nothing there makes sense here we go we have a child who never commits sin and Aisha she think that this child he will go to heaven because he never commits sin but Islam who care who said that you go to heaven because you commit sin or not that really not the reason as you see actually Muhammad he said in different hadith that if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you Allah will destroy you and will bring someone he commits sin do you see the stupidity of Muhammad this is Sahih Muslim 2749 Muhammad is speaking not me so the Lord wants a caliph this is what the Lord wants and the Lord will get what the Lord wants the Lord wants a color, so the Lord is trying to find the right victim. You see, the right so victim, the guys. Did you, did you hear? Did you hear the right victim? The Lord, <laughs> the Allah trying to find the hey. right victim. <laughs> he said, "By him is who hand is my life." Muhammad is swearing now, taking an oath. This is serious. This is not a joke. And you know, when Muhammad he swears, it means he is going to make a big poo, poo If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out. Of existence and he would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness have you ever heard of a madness like this before isn't it this is a contradiction for the Quran Muhammad in the Quran he says that God he's taking the story from the Old Testament about the flood of Noah the flood of Noah is what is about people commit sin so God destroy all of them Muhammad here is saying the opposite if you don't commit sin God will bring the flood of Noah do you see it so how you can follow such a man who is really a certified stupid in every statement he say Islam is a collection of stupid stories none of them make sense now Adam sin separated mankind from God. Jesus came to reconcile man to God. Once you accept Jesus Christ, you're reconciled to God.